All right. Hey, Billy Nipple Slip. I recently started dating this girl, and we've been messing around for a few months now. Congratulations. She's pretty cool and a really sweet girl, and sex is great with her. All right. Trifecta. However, she's been doing a lot of lingerie shopping and wants me to go with her one day so we can shop for her lingerie together. Uh, personally, I never got the point of lingerie, nor am, am I a big fan of it. Um, really? You just like when they just show up with like your fucking old basketball shorts on. You're one of those guys. As long as there's a pussy underneath it, I don't give a fuck. All right. Personally, I never got the point. Okay. Uh, didn't see the point of buying something that was meant for you to take off almost immediately after you put it on. <clears throat> All right, sir. This is the thing about. All right. So you're you're uh, you're one of those no foreplay guys. All right. If you really want to take it to the next level, dude, like you ever you ever make a meal for somebody. And you set it down and you turn your back to the stove to set the pan back down. And when you look back, they're already halfway done with it. And you're like, what the fuck did I do all that work for? Um, I would let her buy that. It makes her feel sexy, right? And then, you know, gets her all even into the, you know, the mood a little bit more. I'm telling you, dude, you're striking me as somebody who never takes the downtown six, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he just fucking rips the clothes off. Puts her on her back, fucking rolls off, turns on the fucking TV. All right, also, I'm not that great at faking my reaction when her or her girls have broke out their sexy lingerie and I'm unenthused by it. You know what, dude? Uh, you're an asshole. You really are an asshole. Um, and that can be a good thing. You can, you're going to get what you want in life, but uh, you're going to miss out on a lot in life. Um, it's even give, got me in a great, got me in trouble a couple times. The girls I've been dating for the most part have been pretty sexy, but when it comes to lingerie, I just think it makes things awkward. That is the most overused word on the planet. It's the default emotion of the, this entire fucking world now. I don't even know what the word means anymore. It's been applied to everything. Everything's awkward. I don't know what that means. Same goes for things like sexting, role-playing, Vag and tit pics and anything else that's kind of puts you on the spot for things involving sex. Is it weird that that stuff does nothing for me? No, it isn't. But it, it shouldn't make the other person feel like an asshole. Uh, should I try to do my best? To, uh, you know what? I, I preempt. I shouldn't have called you an asshole this early because now you're asking questions. All right, I apologize. I'm wrong. All right, I should. Should I try my best to continue pretending that my wiener isn't shriveling up like a sock? When you pull the strings out, the strings out of it. Oh, the uh, the lingerie. Huge fan of the podcast. I haven't. If you haven't yet, please come out. I'm not going to say where he's from, just in case his fucking girlfriend recognizes this. Um, you know, dude, you could just kind of go along with it a little bit. Like, look, I think like just saying you're not into sexting and, 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 and role playing and shit. That's like next level shit. If you're not into that, that's fine. Okay. Um, but lingerie, I think is a simple thing you could put a happy face on. I mean, as much as guys think the lingerie is for them or, or, and, and for the most part, the way women dress like guys, Oh, look at her. She's hot. She wants it. I mean, they're dressing for themselves. <laughs> they like to look pretty, right? It makes them feel good. So I think the hey Nia, can you come in for a second? She's giving me a look here. Come here. Oh Jesus! She literally walked by, stopped, and looked at me. All right. So this guy, this guy is. Uh, oh my God! It's ten thirty-six. I gotta get off my fucking day. So this guy, could you look less enthused? Yeah, you shot me a look. I thought that meant you wanted to come in. I'm just listening, but go on. What is it? What are you, Henry Hill? I'm just listening. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. What, is it? what do you want me to say? Then my wife two times me? All right, so this guy, he's with this great girl. She's fucking cool. She's sexy. The sex is great, but she's into wearing sexy lingerie. It does nothing for him. She wants to fucking him to go along on it, and, like, he thinks it's just stupid. So she puts it on, and she fucking pulls the strings, like, ba-da-da, boo. And he said, I'm supposed to sit there and act like my dick is not shriveling up like a sock. What? What should I do? He don't think he doesn't think lingerie is sexy. He's just done it. He goes, I don't understand the point of just buying that, and I'm just going to take it off like two seconds later. Okay. 
It makes her feel good. Just go along with it. It's not going to kill you. That's my advice. Yeah, it's it's just just go along with it. It's now he said, "What about like sexting, vag, and titty pics?" He goes, "I'm not into any of that or role playing." You are so boring. Whoever wrote this in, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's you really just—it's like a job. You're a fucking prude, and you're so boring. Like loosen up a little bit. Send a dick pic to your girlfriend. No, that's a bad idea. Oh, yeah, I mean, you probably should. Yeah, you never, you don't, you never send any of that shit because it exists one, forever. He, yeah, he'd be the one person. <laughs> it would come back to haunt him somehow. So maybe don't do that. But just open your mind a little bit. It sounds like you're in a little sexual box, and maybe you need to. Uh, no pun intended. No pun intended. And maybe um, you need to break out of this box. But Nia, here's the and thing. Explore something different, and you know. Here's the thing on the dick pic, Nia. Okay. People think, okay, I'm going to send a dick pic to you from my phone to your phone. Mm -hmm. Just think of the journey that thing takes. (laughs) My dick goes to outer space, goes off a satellite, and comes back down. God knows how much shit is between that and that. I mean, how many miles did that thing just travel? Yeah. And to think that that's just going to go there. And then if you're on like Twitter, or they say, like, uh, we want permission to have access to your photos. And right. I, I never say yes. It's like you can have access to this photo, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, and all of a sudden send, somebody, you know, you have to send your avatar is your dick pic. You have to on send, some, somebody else's avatar is your dick pic. You have to send the dick pic, delete the dick pic, and then ask that person to delete the dick pic, too. No, you never send pics. Just you, don't send pics, no. period. What you do is say, where are you? I'll show it to you live. <laughs> Living like in the color. old days. In <laughs> color. Yeah, like the old days. No satellite dick pics. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of this guy, I think he should just kind of open his mind a little bit. Like I said, he seems a little a little prudish. And it's fine. You don't have to like lingerie and all that. But I mean, if your girl's into it and you like her and she likes lingerie, like, eh, hey, what's the problem? You know, just like I said, it's not gonna I, I don't see you. any problem with how do you not like lingerie? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. He's boring as fuck. He's saying he wants her to show up wearing his basketball shorts. <laughs> He's just like, just be naked. That's what I was saying. You know, I was comparing it to like, you know, when you cook somebody a meal and they like, eat it in two seconds. You're just like, dude, what the fuck? Like you do? Huh? <laughs> but not in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do wolf down food. You do. Huh? But that's not the only thing you wolf down. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Nia. <laughs> Why would you say that? No. That's you, disgusting. You take your time. A woman in your places. in your condition. In my condition. In your condition this speaking this way. That's terrible. <sighs> what if other people were to hear it? I know. What uh, would they think? What would they think?